Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable Madden and 2K coins on the market. And of course, do not forget to use code FURDY for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. Today, we are looking at the brand new team of the week, Maurice Jones-Drew. And I have really no idea what's going on. Back-to-back -back days where EA dropped one of my favorite players of all time, uh, Shady McCoy yesterday, and of course, MJD today. And this card looks really good. Usually, they do cheat his cards a little bit, but this year, I guess, is different. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, decent trucking, good break tackle, good COD, a uh, decent pass catcher as well, a very well-rounded back. And probably the biggest question mark about this card is going to be that height at 5'7". Is he still going to animate? Is he still going to break tackles? I think that he will, and I think I'm really going to like the 5'7 build on this card. And it's not like he's light either. If you've if you've ever seen Maurice Jones-Drew, he's got a lot of weight in those legs. So yeah, 210 makes sense at 5'7". And then here are the rest of the stats right there. Good juke move, a good COD and stuff like that. This card should play very well i'm talking like top five potential in this game right now the only problem i don't really like with this card is his pre-baked or discounted abilities two ap evasive i'm just gonna run it because you never know when you're gonna spin and it costs the same as jukebox but i wish he got like a one ap jukebox or even a one ap evasive the same way shady did but it is what it is also does get you know one ap reach for it and two ap backfield mismatch and for team camps he does get raiders and jacksonville and of course legends it feels like we have like 35 uh, Raiders running backs right now in this game like that are super good and can be super good But uh, yeah, let's hop into it and let's see what MJD can do today. All right, here we go We got our first touches of the day here with MJD Like I said in the intro a lot of question marks here. How's he gonna feel? We're gonna get started with our signature uh, our signature little offense I've been seeing a lot of comments about the offense um, people asking for the playbook obviously then people um, saying it's a glitch, it's a glitchy RPO or whatever. It's not like that RPO that's banned from the MCS. It's just not. There is ways to stop this. The, 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 I mean, there's ways to stop the, the other one too. It's just a very complicated process, but there is a way to stop it. I, I've seen videos of it. But yeah, this one is, it's not the same. It's not the same. It, it really isn't. This is just more of a scheme that, I guess, works. Let's see how he plays it this time. And again, we're going to have it. If you're not going to respect the flats, we're going to, we're going to, we're gonna take our we're gonna take our yards. It's simple as that. That's just what we're gonna do. And um, yeah, I do spam this play in running back gameplays because I'm trying to get the running back involved. You don't click on the video to watch me throw the ball to my receivers, right? Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's kind of common sense, but people still will comment stuff. But I probably shouldn't even address it. But honestly, who cares? Uh, let's go off the edge here again. He's gonna pull out his user now, and that's his man. And you see right there, once the user kind of once the user gets pulled out of the way, we had Keith Byers for a touchdown as long as that pass does get out. I had to make a kind of a late read because I may, I may have thought he was... It's interesting that he's blitzing like that. But I thought he may have had Keith manned up. He didn't. It would have worked. It's a very bold decision by him. MJD, 5-7 build. I maybe could have went for a skip juke there. I was trying to... I thought he was going to click on and go more upfield. He just didn't. Usually when you dive like that immediately, people just don't expect it. But let's go A-slot offset. Let's check on MJD's speed. So far, so good. I mean, on the stick feels good. Getting up field feels fine. Obviously, he has some slight pass catching stats as well. So super nice. And I feel like they may have... It could have made him a little bit bigger, like beefier, if you know what I mean. Not taller, but I think the legs could have been a little bit bigger. If you've never seen MJD's legs, I mean, Google it. Um, incognito, obviously. But um, yeah, I mean, this dude was a monster, man. He was... <laughs> like, he's too small. He, he was huge, even though he was short, if that makes sense. Let's see, let's see where he's at. Let's see where he's at again. Nope. Same kind of thing. Juke that. MJD and I couldn't get up the field fast enough. Okay. We didn't. Should have him out of the backfield here. MJD and Juke again. And falling forward as well. MJD. Obviously, he does he does weigh 210, which is more than a lot of DBs in this game. So you're um definitely gonna feel that power a little bit. Which I don't like doing. And we should be able to get up the middle there. And MJD with a broken tackle running through William Perry. So far, so good for MJD, man. The size doesn't seem to be a problem. If anything, I think it could be a good thing. We're still, you know, pummeling through those bigger bodies like you just saw right there. Um, would have liked to have seen a little bit more broken tackles, but we didn't really have that many opportunities or even like tackle battle activations. But still, pretty good drive. Uh, pretty promising so far for MJD. Okay, so as always, we have our Who Would I Rather segment sponsored by... We do not have a sponsor yet, but if you are a sponsor, hit me up. Uh, we have Maurice Jones Drew Edition today, obviously, with it being his gameplay. And let's just get started. Alvin or MJD? Very similar cards. Very, very similar. 
Um, MJD's a little bit faster. I'm gonna go with uh, Alvin here. I like how he has slightly better power back stats. I'm gonna go Alvin over MJD. I think Alvin is a super top tier back in this game, however. Um, MJD or Shady, give me Shady. Um, MJD or Josh Jacobs, give me MJD. I'm gonna go MJD here. I'm gonna go Emmett Smith here. I'm gonna go MJD here. I'm gonna go MJD. I'm gonna go Walter. I like Walter a lot because of these abilities. Zero AP jukebox is just so, so good. And also the card plays so, so well. So I'm gonna go with uh, Sweetness. I'm gonna go with Derrick Henry. I'm gonna go with Edrin over MJD. I, I, I feel like I'm kind of moving Edrin up the ranks right now because of that one AP jukebox size and pass catching ability. Really nice card. Um, him over Dickerson. I'm gonna go with. I'm probably gonna go with Dickerson here. His size is too good. Just too well rounded. Again, good, decent abilities. Not great, but decent abilities on Dickerson. We keep moving. Ladanian Tomlinson. Give me MJD here. I want MJD. I want MJD. MJD, 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 MJD. I would say MJD falls into that like five, six spot in the current running back landscape. And I know you're probably not going to believe it, but yeah, while I was doing that segment, while I was recording it, we just got a pick. Let's see what his user does. Is he ever going to respect it? He does. And that's exactly what we're looking for. A good, you don't see a gap shoot like that from the outside, like that from a, from a non CPU. I guess it was because it was a blitz, right? But if we shoot that off the other way, I mean, this guy is honestly even if we go with our uh this play here could also cook very well because it at the middle mjd oh man i saw i saw daylight i saw a lot of daylight let's see and we should have kyle pitts butt naked of the sign as long as we don't get a ko we don't get a ko i still have to buy ramsey i don't even know i don't even know if i'm gonna get ramsey i feel like maybe i should because he's 92 speed the same way like revis and all those guys are for me but i don't know our read option again i don't like where that read option is i just am not a fan personally he's in the hole make, make one guy miss and there we go i didn't hit the turbo right away so the acceleration was a little bit slow the 18 carry or five yards five carries for 18 yards one tug so far for mjd and one thing i definitely noticed about this card is he's not like flashy like um like, like what's his name oh i didn't mean to hurt it like that he's not flashy like uh like, like a shady or like a walter is i don't know if that makes sense the card doesn't feel he's solid he's good but he's not special i don't know if that makes any real sense at all to what i'm saying but he doesn't feel like you know he doesn't feel special to me really at all all right streak tyree we're gonna streak buyers try to get the user attracted and then we're gonna hopefully drop a dot to keith drop, drop, drop a dot to keith here up the middle we should have that as long as we don't get cheated we almost he wasn't manned up he was manned up on the guy in the flat so that's why he just kind of made a beeline past the ball but still that's kind of a bit of a snap read right there we, we have less than a minute here to go again he's just letting me throw it outside we have run blockers out there ready to go step on it mjd cut that and fall forward touchdown maurice jones drew showing off the way showing off, showing off that strength a little bit and we are in for a touchdown and my opponent of course has had enough